From a garage to an entire brewery, Kinney Creek has been open in Rochester for just more than a year. Yeah, there's a lot more going on, though, than just brewing beer. <laughs> Reporter Katie Aldridge shows us how it's made and tasted right here in the Midwest. Uh, right now, we're producing just about 10 barrels roughly a week. Donovan Seitz's love for craft beer started in his garage. Two different brews going on at the same time. It's now grown into Kinney Creek Brewery. Did a little bit of traveling and, and recognized there's other parts of the country that had uh, a little bit better beer than we had here in Rochester. Seitz started the brewery in December of 2012 and since then he's been busy perfecting his brew. Good. The fun thing about brewing your own beer is you always have an opportunity to change things. You don't have to have the traditional style, you don't have to have the traditional flavors. Uh, it's a lot like cooking where you can use different spices, you can use different ingredients to build that beer. Seitz and his crew brew the beer about every other day. We can get the, the boiling wort down to a what they call a pitching temperature for the yeast and once we get it to that temperature we put it in our fermenters. And at Kimmy Creek there's much more going on than just making the beer. Right now we have seven beers on tap. There's also a lot of tasting. I guess the biggest thing is I've been a fan of craft beer for quite a long time and it's nice to have a fresh clean beer that comes right out of your city. The tap room is open each weekend for flights of their most recent brews. So how it works is you sit right down here at the bar and get a flight of up to seven different types of their beer and then here on the placemat it'll tell you exactly what you're tasting. At Kinney Creek, they only plan to grow. We pretty much keg every other day, if not every day, depending on if it's real busy or not. Got into the liquor stores just before Thanksgiving. Got into the local bars here right after the first of the year. With their first year under their belt, Sites has definitely come a long way from brewing beer in his garage. Where I'm going to be focusing here in the next six months is just taking us into the more bars, restaurants, liquor stores, making sure that our beer is um, more refined. All month long, we're going to continue to feature local businesses and stuff that's made in the Midwest. Next week, we're going to visit a hidden gem in Owatonna and see how some sweet, sweet candy is made the old-fashioned way.